In this video, you will learn how to generate an Excel spreadsheet using GCXL Java in a Java application and add features to the spreadsheet like table, pivot table, styles, conditional formatting, and charts. Please note that in this tutorial, we will use IntelliJ as the Java IDE to work with GCXL Java. The steps of adding the package and working with GCXL Java are the same on all three operating systems, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Please note that GCXL Java requires JDK8 or later. For how to license GCXL Java, read the following licensing topic. Installation. Open IntelliJ IDE. Create a new Java project. Under SRC folder in tree view, add a folder, libs. Copy GCXL to the libs folder. Also copy PDF box, Java XJSON, font box, and commons logging in the libs folder. Right-click the libs folder and choose the Add as Library option. Press OK. Set up your project. In main Java, import the Grape City documents for the Excel namespace. Next, create a new workbook. In the main function, add code to create a new GCXL workbook. Initialize the data. Prepare data for the worksheet and arrange it in a 2D array. Get worksheet zero in the workbook and set its name as table, since we are going to add a table to this worksheet using GCXL. Then set the 2D data that was just added to a given range of the worksheet using the set value method of the worksheet. Add labels and calculations for each range of data. Create tables. Add a table, income, on the range of data you added above and set its style. Add the second table, expenses, to calculate the expenses. Set formulas for the tables. Each table will calculate the summary income and expenses. Set formulas to calculate the total monthly income, total monthly expenses, percentage of income spent, and balance. Set row heights and column widths. To set the uniform height of rows and widths of columns, set a default row height and column width for the whole worksheet using the set standard height and set standard width methods for all the row and column ranges. Set row height and column width for specific row and column ranges. Set styles. You can set name styles over a range of cells. These styles can be modified using desired properties. You can even create a custom style of your own. Apply your customized styles to specific ranges. Also, turn off the grid lines for the worksheet. With GCXL, it is also possible to set individual style elements on specific ranges. Set borders and line colors on different ranges of data. Add conditional formatting. You can apply conditional formatting on a range depending upon the condition to be applied. In this example, you will show the percentage of income spent through a data bar. Save the workbook at this point and run the application. 
notice that GCXL Features XLSX is created in your project. Open the file. The tables are added to the spreadsheet in proper formatting. Create a pivot table. Now let's get back and add a pivot table to the spreadsheet. Start with adding a new worksheet and setting its name to pivot table. Prepare the data for the pivot table. The data is a list of orders of fruits and vegetables with the amount, date ordered, and the country where they were ordered. Note, to use Gregorian calendar in Java, the following namespace should be included in the project. Set the data to the respective range. Set up the pivot cache and pivot table. Configure pivot tables fields, defining the category as row field, product as column field, amount as data field, and country as page field. Save the workbook and observe that the pivot table is added to the spreadsheet. Add a chart. Let's get back again and see how to add a chart to the spreadsheet. Before adding a chart, include the GCXL drawing namespace and create a new sheet to put it on. Set the sheet's name to be Chart. A chart in Documents for Excel is essentially a shape object. To set up the type of chart you want to create, you first create a shape, then add a chart to it. The Add Chart parameters let you specify the chart type and the location and size. Specify the location in points for the left and top positions and the size with width and height. Set the chart title. Define the range of data to display the chart on. Set the range on the chart. To make the data table look nicer and to format the numbers, you can apply formatting to specific ranges. Let's also format the numbers on the chart's value axis while we're at it. Finally, save the file. Observe the chart added to the third worksheet with the proper number format on the axis. For more information about getting started with GCXL Java, please visit our website at grapecity.com slash documents dash API dash Excel dash Java.